So a few of you asked me to diagram or draw a wiring diagram to go along with uh, the uh, overhead lighting video I did a few months ago. So I drew it out for you and uh, we'll go over it together. But basically, um, if you live in a house from 60s, 70s, 80s, you probably have a switched outlet. That's the way things were done back then. You plugged in a lamp. And hopefully you liked where the plug was in relation to how you decorated your room and it turned your lamp on and off. Um, I hate that. We don't do that anymore. And uh, here's a way to fix that. So just to show you what's going on, what you're probably dealing with, your hot wire, the black wire, uh, is going to come in and it's going to bypass the receptacle. There's another wire going out. You see here, I got a wire nut. Just for this particular uh, scenario, I put the black wire to the black wire with a wire nut. So it passes by the receptacle, runs all the way out to the switch on another wire, passes through the switch when the switch is on, it's interrupted by the switch when the switch is off, and now it's returning the power on the white wire back to the receptacle to feed the hot side. You can tell the hot side by the shorter uh, plug, the gr the uh, neutral is uh, the bigger plug because it's more important that the power can exit the appliance and get back to its source than it is that it's fed with uh, an excess of electricity. Uh, we're going to ignore the green wires here. They should just be twisted together and, of course, hooked to the terminal on the receptacle, on the switch tied into a metal box, etc. I'm hoping that we can, we're beyond that and we can ignore that. Um, this is not the way it has to be. The electrician could very easily have chosen to twist the white wire to the black wire with a wire nut, have the white wire bring the power out to the switch, have it return on the black wire, and then feed into the receptacle. So black and white kind of don't matter. One of them they're both hot wires. One is interrupted by the switch, but they're both hot wires. And you can see here I got send and return, but it doesn't have to be so. A lot of switches don't care which way the current runs through. You may see something on a receptacle where it says line and load. We'll check that on the next schematic here. Uh, line is the line in or the feed that's bringing the current to the receptacle. So I'm going to call it the line in so that it makes more sense to you. Load is the draw, the uh, current being drawn off of the receptacle. So when something says line and load, it does want you to hook the feed up to the line side. And the next daisy change receptacle or what have you would be on the load side. So here's what I did. Here's the change I made for the overhead lighting I installed. I just hooked up the line in, positive or the hot wire to the hot side, the neutral to the neutral side. And then the line that went to the switch, I hooked up the black wire to the hot side, the neutral. You can tell um, also by the uh, screws will have a brass color for the hot side and a silver or chrome color for the neutral side. Now that wire feeds in and back out from the receptacle, continues over to the switch, and the black wire or hot wire goes into the switch where it's interrupted. The white wire is twisted together with the white wire that's going to feed your lighting, your fan, whatever it is you're installing. Then the black and white wire exit the switch box, the black wire interrupted by the switch, the white wire a continuation of the other white wire just with a wire not continue uh, connecting them and on to carry out its task. So it's complicated when you can't see what's going on on the wall and you've never done it before, but I think when it's laid out like this, it gets pretty simple. So if anybody's got any questions, feel free to put them in the comments. If I didn't um, address this clearly enough, I have no problem going over it again or, uh, I may even set up an email so that we can have uh, conversations and I can answer questions. At any rate, I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.